Well, this is the mood in Wyala. out there on my TV, no why I'll wipe out there on my TV, no why I'll wipe out there on my TV, shocking me right out of my brain, shocking me right out of my brain. Removing Kevin was an act of political bastardry, for sure. But this act of political bastardry was made possible only because Kevin had been such a bastard himself to so many people. How does it happen? You're nodding your head? or annoying a thoroughbred, or running till you thought you would burst, you sure got a thirst. A hard-earned thirst needs a big, cold shandy, and the best cold shandy is Tony, Tony Bitter. You'll know how it happens, you're gutting a fish, or ditching a witch, or trying too hard to come first, you sure got a thirst. A hard-earned thirst needs a big, cold shandy. And the best cold shandy is Tony, a long, cold Tony. It can come at any time. You're making a vow or carving a cow. Matter of fact, I got it now. A hard-earned thirst needs a big, cold shandy. And the best cold shandy is Tony, Tony Bitter. Beyonce, she's fantastic. Miley Cyrus is the hottest well, thing right now. Wait, wait, wait. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We need to play the music. Get down, get down low. I can't get too low. That's right. Hold on to the table if you need to. Yeah, go on, Clive. Come on. Yeah, that's it, baby. Oh, he's doing it. That's the man that should be running the country. Oh, yeah. He can twerk. If you can't twerk, you can't be Prime Minister. You just got the young vote in one move. Clive Palmer, you've got my vote too. Yeah, I'm voting for you as well. Bill Shorten, thanks for your time. Uh, just picking up on Peter Slipper, before we get to the Health Services Union, can I ask you, do you think he should return to the Speaker's chair 
uh, while these civil claims are still being played out? I understand that the Prime Minister has addressed this in a press conference in Turkey in the last few hours. I haven't seen what she said, but let me say I support what it is that she said. Hang on, you haven't seen what she said. But I support what my Prime Minister said, so... Well, what's your view? Well, my view is what the Prime Minister's view is. Surely you must have your own view on this, Bill Shorten. No, when you ask if I've got my view on this, that's such a general question, it invites me to go to lots well, of places. Well, it's a specific question as to well, whether Peter Slipper should return as Speaker of your Parliament while he's facing civil claims of sexual harassment. Sexual harassment's an incredibly serious matter. Uh, there should be no tolerance for sexual harassment. That's my view. On the other hand, uh, these matters have yet to be established, and I support what our Prime Minister has said. But you don't know what that is? Oh, I'm sure she's right. They're young, uh, they're um, feisty. Uh, I think I can probably say have a bit of sex appeal. <laughs> and, uh, and, and they're just very, very connected with the local area. I wish people would describe me as having sex appeal, but they don't. <laughs> What about Tony Abbott's comments yesterday that his uh, Western Sydney candidate, Fiona Scott, had sex appeal? Was that a, 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 a bit of a dumb move? Well, for me at least, it showed very bad judgment. Uh, it showed that he's got low standards. I've had a good look at Fiona Scott on page 8 of The Australian today, and I don't think she's got sex appeal at all. Look, I'm really proud of what we achieved in the government. I'm really proud of what we achieved in our last term, more than 500 pieces of legislation through the parliament. But I, I think you have to acknowledge that the division that we've seen um, has been disastrous. I think I would give us nine out of ten for governing the country. I'd give us zero out of ten for governing ourselves. And I think it's um, pretty plain that we had too many people playing their own games and not playing for the team. He rides his bike and surfs the sea, his speedos are too tight. He strides on down to Parliament and sits there on the right. He'll say things like suppository, he'll say things to delight. I even heard him singing Rhinestone Cowboy. He's never late for chapel. His dad jokes are all duds. He's always wrong on everything except for Kevin Rudd. I hate to have to say it, but I very firmly feel Tony's not an asset to Australia. I'd like to say a word on his behalf. Tony makes me laugh. How do you solve a problem like Tony Abbott? How do you take his ears and pin them down? How do you find a word that describes Tony? A scholar, dictator, conservative? Many a thing you know you'd like to tell him. Many a thing he ought to understand. Please make him go away and change his views on gays. How can he look his sister in the eye? How do you solve a problem like Tony Abbott? How to convince this misogynist to...